All right, so we're up on the roof today. We got a problem with the internet and we're gonna see if we can solve it. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about my problem. Um, I live out in the middle of the country and um, my house is set back from the road about a quarter of a mile, about half a kilometer. And um, there is internet at the road, there's cable, but getting the cable here would have been really expensive and I wanted a, uh, what I thought, a, you know, a cheaper, faster solution. So I invested in a pair of these. They are Ubiquiti Nano Beam, sorry, Nano Station M2s. And this is what's known as a sector antenna. So uh, this has about 120 degree um, spread. And you'll see that they, they look kind of like cell phone tower um, repeaters. So. They work pretty well, you know, they set up what they call a point-to-point -point wireless bridge. It actually works over 802.11. However, they use Ubiquiti's proprietary um, uh, technology uh, layer on top of that, transport layer, I think it's called Air Power. And that adds in some robustness and other things that I'm not really gonna get into, but basically it's, it's a wireless link. Um, these worked really well for, you know, a while and I actually got about 30 megabits to 40 megabits download and probably about 10 megabits upload. The only problem was I don't have line of sight and I was really surprised these worked at all and they kind of worked out of the box which was fantastic so I sort of stopped at that and uh, counted my lucky stars and moved on to the uh, you know the whatever the next thing was and I would occasionally have outages surprisingly not really so much in the summer with the foliage but just randomly usually in the mornings. Um, Usually they last from 20 seconds to 20 minutes, not a big deal, and then it goes down, comes back, it's on the rest of the day. Last weekend, I had an outage that lasted over a day and it still didn't come back, so at that point I said, all right, time to invest a little bit more time. I took these down, I updated their firmware, I repaired them, I re-aimed them, I set the whole network back up again, and I got it working barely. Uh, at you know a fraction of the speed, maybe five megabits per second down, and it was it was pretty awful. I I'm gonna take you down uh, to the path I cleared. I cleared a bunch of trees with the excavator, uh, which helped quite a bit, but it was still not good enough. So I don't really wait around for solutions. So I immediately went out and bought a pair of these. These are Nano Beam, also by Ubiquity, AC Gen 2, um, and this is supposedly the next generation of the uh the nano stations so i you know i figured these might be more of a line of sight so i, I cleared even more trees so i can actually see the barn now um, where the internet originates and i'm going to show you that in a minute but uh, i kind of want to do a brief review of these guys let you know how they work let you know how they work through trees uh some things to watch out for and i'll do a, a speed test as well let you know so let's take a look at what we got So I want to show you guys, this is sort of the halfway point. Let's see if we can take a look at here. So this is the house. And that white spot up there is the dish. And look this way. That's, uh, yeah, we can see it from here. That down there is the barn. And Probably won't be able to get to focus, but there's a little dish down there. We're gonna go take a look at that. So this is the other ubiquity dish. It is pointed out there. 
As you can tell, I have tried multiple solutions. There's the old uh, Nano Station M2 sector antenna, and uh, there's even a uh, Pico Station up there. So I used the Pico Station to figure out that I could get signal at the house, so I knew that line of sight wasn't necessarily required. Um, I wasn't sure if I could get a good enough signal to actually get internet on, so that's when we tried the Nano Stations, uh, and now we have the Nano Beams. So let's go see what kind of speed we're able to pull from this connection. All right, so if we do a speed test on this machine. Speedtest.net. I realize this is on a wireless connection. This is not gonna be perfect, but let's, uh, let's take a look here. Ping is pretty good. Ping before was around 40 milliseconds. The upload is actually worse than before. Oh, nope, I take it back around 10 megabits per second. The actual speed at the road, um, I've tested it before, it's around, I mean, maximum of 60, 70 megabits per down. I think I'm supposed to be able to get 100, but I never actually do. So my final conclusion is, yes, you can get internet in the middle of nowhere. Uh, trees definitely affect coverage, they affect speed, and they affect the number of dropouts you're gonna be uh, getting. Um, you can get away with not line of sight with a sector antenna. Um, but for some reason mine stopped working. I don't. I still don't know why. I kind of want to swap them back and see, see if uh, my speed will change. But uh, yeah, the Ubiquity stuff's really easy to use. Um, it's not. This is not a sponsored video. I, I bought all this stuff myself. Um, but the newer stuff is really, really easy to use. It's all set up with an app. Uh, it makes wireless bridges very easy, and uh, anyone can do them. So I hope you uh, found this video useful. If you did, give it a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.